<coughs> excuse me. I can't remember if I've done a video on this. Probably have, but it's been a minute, so it's always good to do another one. Got skidded aluminum coils. Need to be careful with these. You don't want to damage them. Uh, I'll show you how to secure them real quickly. It's pretty easy. Um, no chains. Um, in fact, this place will come unhinged if they see you throwing chains. Most aluminum places will. We'll flip this around, <coughs> excuse me, and I'll show you what we got here. Hold on. Ah, we got a bunch of them. Only weighs 42,000, but uh, right off the bat, I'm using my felt blankets and a moving blanket because you really don't want the straps rubbing on this aluminum. It'll rip through that plastic, and if it marks them up, um, some places will refuse them. So I got uh, blankets across the top, moving blanket in the front. Uh, the blanket went over for, far enough in the back for the catch strap. So you got a catch strap in the front, run it at an angle. All right, that's to keep anything from moving forward, even though it would be pretty hard to move forward. Got this front one X strapped, also so it doesn't move forward. Single strap. And these double stacks both have X straps because um, I don't want that top one to move. The bottom ones aren't going to move, they're wedged in there. So I've got X straps on all the doubles, a single strap on the back with a catch strap. And you can see I was able to use my blanket back here. All right, pretty easy. One thing I'll show you I mentioned this on the uh, slinky coils the other day I don't know if this guy's talking to me hold on a minute yeah, no, they were talking to each other but I come over here and show you never pull your straps against a pocket and that edge will cut them so these X straps are pulling against the spools okay this catch strap pulling against a spool where it's rounded and won't cut it over the top, of course, that's fine. But anything at an angle against the spool. Yeah, that's at an angle against the spool. Angle against the spool. Do them all against the spool. Catch strap, spool. Anything pulling at an angle, don't do it on this edge because that'll sit there and it'll saw it. It'll cut it. And, uh, well, you don't want that anyways. It's, you don't want it to cut it and come loose and you'll ruin your straps. All right, I got a tarp. I think I can get it with one six foot drop tarp. Let's hope so. I'll show you that when I'm done. See you in a minute. All right, it's about the ugliest tarp job as I've done in a long time, but he's able to stretch one six footer over it. As ugly as it is, still got everything inside the rail to keep it looking as clean as possible. Such a Such a mess of a load. And he was able to get the back. But lots of bungees. So, good enough for this one. Off to Alabama. See you bye. Got to thinking you guys might not know what I mean by X strap. A lot of guys think of that like the TMC guys do across the front, but. I X strap over this first one uh, for a couple reasons and the double ones, like I said, because um, I don't want it to go forward. Even though I got a catch strap here, this X strap, as you can see, this one goes over that way and this one comes over this way. You get the downward force of the straps, but it also grabs it in the front too and the back. So it keeps it from going front to back and it holds it down all right plus it uh meets your penalty strap requirement if you don't have a headboard or a headache rack and or you're more than about five feet off some dot guys will give you 10 feet off you must throw a penalty strap which is an extra strap two straps within the first four feet so there you go i got two straps within the first four feet you just throw one over the middle this one on the bottom would not count. 
because it's not putting downward pressure on the product. And it made you roll your tarps back. You got one strap here on the front. There's a nice violation for you. Uh, all right, that's it. I'm gonna get this done. Um, that's all I can think of for this video. See you, bye.